everyone, Jessica here, and welcome back to my YouTube channel and blog. So today, I'm going to be making a card using some watercolor pencils and some heat embossing on watercolor cardstock. So for a full disclosure, I did not buy this stamp set that I'm using right now. So I won this stamp set in a giveaway. It is a Gina K uh, stamp called So Cool, and it has a bunch of fun ice cream cones and the sentiments in it are all ice cream themed too. So it's really cute and it's perfect for summertime. I want it on the Rena Krupski YouTube channel. So I'll link to that below. And I was really shocked when I won because I never win anything. Well, I can't say never. I rarely ever win anything. So I was really excited about it. So I'm using my Tim Holtz stamp platform and I'm stamping down a bunch of the little ice cream cones. There's four different ones. They're similar styles, but they are different sizes. So I used the Versamark ink that I have, and I stamped that down on some Canson watercolor paper. So just be careful that you don't overheat it because with watercolor paper, that embossing powder can just sink right in and you completely lose that embossing look so it doesn't have the raised uh, finish anymore it kind of it just sinks in so it's completely flat I've done that a few times because I like to overheat embossing powder apparently <laughs> so that's just a little tip there I'm going to be using my Fantasia 36 piece watercolor pencil set and some good things about this set is that they are very easy to travel with. Um, I have them in a B BTSKY pencil case from Amazon. I used to keep my Prismacolor pencils in this case until I bought the full set and then they wouldn't fit because I believe it's only, I believe this only fits 80 or so pencils. I'd have to look, but it doesn't fit the whole Prismacolor set. So I have my pencils in this case. And that's how I travel with them. You can keep a small sharpener in the case and a water brush also. I like to use them in my Prima Traveler's Notebook. And that's one reason why I do like these Fantasia watercolor pencils so much is that you can and they work well using them with the watercolor paper. But I don't have a insert for my Traveler's Notebook that has watercolor paper. It just has a regular, it has a regular thin paper. And... These actually work really awesome. I'll have to insert a clip or something of like a, a little picture I did using them. I, I have a paper towel or a cloth always out of camera when using these water brushes because it's like a constant trickle of water. So it can get a little bit much for watercolor pencils, especially because they don't need that much water to blend so I just tap it off or brush it off. Um, another good thing about these pencils is that you do have a lot of control. So I like to color the like outline of the picture that I'm watercoloring these with. So it gives some shading there. You can also go to the tip of your pencil with the water brush. And that has a more saturated color look. Um, I didn't do it on this project. I have done it a lot in the past. Just one thing to remember is if you get your pencil tip wet by doing that, don't color. Well, you can, but I suggest not to color uh, with that pencil until it fully dries again because it'll just be like a goopy pigmented mess. One thing I do like to do with these pencils is to color the background and it makes it super easy. I just take the gray pencil and completely just scribble scribble away in the background all the pencils have a color swatch at the end of the pencil you can see them there in the footage which is very helpful and can distinguish against uh, the browns yellows greens and reds and stuff but they're not really true to color a lot of these colors are very similar also the reds and pinks um, there's several of them that have basically the same tone they they might just be one shade off and this set is just something that I found at a local craft store, craft warehouse. So I think they were a good investment. Like I said, they are great for traveling. I would like to upgrade to something with a little better quality. 
later on in my crafting life. <laughs> I know that the Arteza ones have a nice uh, set too that I've been looking at. So who knows? Sooner or later, I might end up with a new set and compare the two. See how that goes. You can find this set on Amazon. I think they're they're less than $20. So for that price, they are pretty good. So after letting the watercolor piece dry completely, I'm going to take my wonky rectangle die and cut it out. You get that nice, fun stitching all the way around the edges. I think this is one die that I will probably have to repurchase sooner or later because I will wear it out. To back this piece on with the ice creams, I'm going to take a piece of Simon Says Stamp Slate cardstock and cut that down to where it will layer underneath the ice cream watercolor. For the sentiment, I'm going to use a piece of black cardstock and white embossing powder. I know that's surprising. <laughs> and I'm heating it up with my Wagner heat uh, with my Wagner heat gun. And it just says, what's the scoop? I thought that was kind of cute. And this, this sentiment is in the stamp set also. Now, I wanted to add more interest to the ice cream cones. So I'm taking a Distress Ink and Black Soot. I squished it down on my Tim Holtz glass media mat, and that's on the silicone sheet. And I took my water brush again, and I'm just going to get it wet and dip my water brush in it and then create splatters all around the ice cream cones. I do have a little bit control with this so that I can keep the splatters more to the light gray washed background rather than on the ice cream cones. It also would be really cool to do several different colors of Distress Ink. Instead of using the gray watercolor pencil to color it, just keep the background white and then add a bunch of splatters in different colors and it'll look like sprinkles and ice cream cones are falling from the sky. That'd be kind of fun to do too. So after doing a nice splatter, I also heat set them because I wanted to heat set them. That way they dried quickly and right after I was going to mount it to the card panel anyways. So I'm using my ATG gun and just putting a good layer on the back of this watercolor paper because it still warps. Um, it's just the Canson, I think they call it 90 pound or 100 pound, but it's pretty thin. So no matter what, it does warp with all that water going on it and then heat setting it and then all the embossing too so i wanted to make sure that it does stay down and i mount that to that slate cardstock that i cut out earlier and then i adhere both to the nina solar white 110 pound cardstock panel that i have so for the final details of this card i'm going to add on some spectrum noir glitter on all the cherries and then go through with some glossy accents also on all the cherries. I also mounted the sentiment on the card and then used a Simons' Stamp scallop border die to cut out the scallop red uh, border that's underneath the sentiment. That is it for this card today. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Give this video a like if you enjoyed it. I appreciate you and I will see you in the next one. Meh.